The customer today demands a lot of things when he buys a tractor. He wants a tractor that will meet his exacting power demands and still give him the most in efficiency and economy. Model by model, John Deere cannot be compared with the complete International Harvester tractor line, for there are some serious gaps in the Deere group of tractors. First, Deere has no utility models, except for its small horsepower 430 and 440. IH offers seven different utility power sizes from the Cub through the 660. Nor has Deere any diesel model that can be compared with the Farmall 460 diesel. So in no way can Deere match International Harvester's complete line of farm and commercial tractors. Not only does the customer want the right tractor for the job, he also needs a tractor that will give him like new performance year after year. One that offers the most in convenience and ease of operation. He can get all of these things with an international or farmall tractor. Just compare IH tractors with anything competition has to offer. Right down to the last nut and bolt, Harvester offers more. The modern farmer must operate his tractor with many different types and sizes of implements and machines. So he wants a really modern tractor with a wide range of useful working speeds. One look at Deere's range of operating speeds is bound to make him ask, just how can I get my job done when this is all I have to work with? Eliminate the low, low creeper speed and the so-called road speed, and what does Deere have left? Only four working speeds. By contrast, IH tractors have seven job-matched working speeds. Deere tractors with no regular high-speed tillage gear in the seven to seven and a half mile per hour range is restricted to just over five and a half miles per hour. And look at the road gear. Just think how much time IH's extra speed saves on the spread out farms where some fields are five to 10 miles apart. Convenience? Harvester uses the same shift pattern in all medium and high horsepower models. Deer has a different pattern in each model, and none is really easy to shift. Take loader operation, for example, and see how difficult it is to go from third to reverse with a deer tractor. We can't begin to compare Harvester's power-producing torque amplifier, which increases pull up to 45%, cuts fuel costs, and can be used all day long with anything in a deer tractor because John Deere doesn't even have one. How about the hydraulic systems? IH hydraulics are years ahead of Deere and all other competitors. To start with, IH tractors are available with one, two, or three valves, any of which can operate either one or two-way cylinders. Additional valves can be added at any time without major disassembly. The man who buys a Deere one-valve system can't add a second valve unless he buys two complete new ones. And at that, the second valve can operate only two-way cylinders. What's more, IH offers its users a choice of 12 or 17 gallon internal mounted pumps to match hydraulics to operations. Deere offers only a nine gallon engine mounted pump. Harvester's independent power takeoff makes for slow, easy starts. In contrast to the Deere PTO, which starts and stops with a jerk. Think how hard this is on universal joints and shafts. Then there's the inconvenience of the Deere PTO control, because the operator of a Deere tractor must use his hands for all other controls, including an obsolete over-center hand clutch. Deere has designed a foot-operated PTO control, so placed that the user usually has to stand to disengage it. Another example of obsolescence. Deere's brakes are still the old-fashioned internal expanding shoe type with only two pieces of brake lining. On top of that, Deere's unequalized brakes are operated individually. The operator has to use both legs on opposite sides of the tractor. Unequal braking is dangerous at any road speed. Can this inadequate braking system be compared in the same breath with the up-to-the-minute disc brakes on IH tractors with six different discs? Harvester's new six-cylinder replaceable sleeve engine means smooth operation. Deere still uses a two-cylinder sleeveless engine 
That is bumpy and jerky in operation. What else does IH offer in its tractors over and above what can be found in deer tractors? Greater maneuverability, larger gas tanks, more efficient lights, superior mufflers, just to name a few additional advantages. So the smart customer invariably selects an international harvester tractor over a deer. He knows that comparisons prove that he'll be farther ahead, that he'll get the benefit of seven job-matched working speeds instead of four, that he'll have a more convenient shift pattern, that he'll be using industry's only time-proved torque amplifier, that he'll get IH's versatile hydraulic system, the one system that's years ahead of its time, that he'll have a more convenient independent power takeoff, the PTO that's easier on himself and his implements. And to top it all off, that he'll enjoy the greater smoothness and efficiency with Harvester's outstanding six-cylinder engine on the 460, 560, and 660. When he adds all these advantages together, he'll realize that there's little choice left, that he'll be far ahead when he selects an IH tractor. International Harvester, International Harvester, for better farm equipment, buy IH.